More now on the encouraging news about a potential coronavirus vaccine that injected new life into the stock market today. The Dow shot up more than 900 points. That's nearly 4%. It was fueled partly by word from the drug maker Moderna that its vaccine showed promise in small, early stage testing. Dr. John LaPook now on the hurdles ahead as we continue our series, Racing to a Cure. Today's announcement fueled optimism because all 45 people who received the trial vaccine from Moderna developed antibodies to coronavirus. How are you feeling about today's findings? Very good. Why? We had been hoping and anticipating for this day. Uh, based on the experience that we've had with our platform, we anticipated that we should be generating an immune response and the right kind of an immune response. But seeing the actual data is very reassuring. What's particularly exciting to researchers and investors is the type of antibodies they found. When scientists looked at the first eight volunteers, all had developed neutralizing antibodies. That's the kind needed to effectively fight off the virus and keep people from getting sick. Moderna's vaccine is different from traditional ones that use a weakened or inactivated version of a virus. Instead, it uses a piece of genetic code known as messenger RNA, which tells the body to produce a coronavirus protein that triggers an immune response. What I've learned in this race, I only have two competitors, the virus and the clock. I wish all my competitors to succeed because we as a society need to have more than one vaccine available. Today's news sent the Massachusetts company stock soaring just days after a former board member, Monsef Slawi, was tapped Thank as the you, chief President. scientist for the president's vaccine program, Operation That's Warp Speed. Financial filing shows Slawi holds Moderna options worth millions and which are even more valuable today. Tonight, Slawi told CBS News he is divesting all interests in Moderna and will donate to research any profits made since his pick. Meanwhile, the company is expecting to start what it hopes is the final phase of testing in July. They'll be giving the vaccine to larger groups of people in areas where the virus is actively circulating. Nora? That's a big development. Dr. John LaPook, thank you.